So all this right now is our IST, it's our incident support team, and our forward command element in support of Vibrant Response 23, which is a multi-echelon exercise to validate JTFCS's and U.S. Army Wars' ability to deploy into a catastrophic Seaburn event. The critical life-saving window is incident time plus 96 hours to 144 hours. If we can employ our service members and, and withdraw and extract and decontaminate and provide medical triage and follow-on care for as many people as we can, that's one mile marker, and after that is the road to recovery and sustainment. So primarily in this room, that consists of two elements, the forward command element and the incident support team, both of which are primarily designed to develop the situation. The forward command element, they're talking kind of down and in and up and out, coordinating with U.S. Army North Higher Headquarters, and then conducting coordination, receiving information, and providing guidance for our headquarters and our planners back in Fort Eustis, Virginia, as well as the subordinate D-Force units that are arriving on station. But most of the decisions and all are made back here by the commander, uh, informed by both the crew here and the, the crew back at Fort Eustis. Fire up. Uh, looks like they're going to be ready to go at D plus six.